Right, don't know whether I'm gonna use this footage or not. Don't usually do this sort of thing, but I thought it might be interesting to some of you viewers. Um, if you do find it interesting, drop a comment below and I'll try and do some more. So I needed a bench grinder for the workshop. I don't actually need the grinder part of it, although it would be handy, but when I'm cleaning up bits, as you'd have seen in the past, I use a wire wheel on the end of a drill and it, it's all right, it, it gets around, but I've in the past used a wire wheel on a bench grinder and it's much easier for just cleaning up bits and bobs. So I've been looking for ages for a bench grinder, to be honest. They're generally, if you get a six inch one, they're a bit cheaper, but they're just too small for what I want it for really. So I really need like a 200 mil one. And I've seen some cheaper ones in the past and they've had like 250 watt motors and things like that. And that's just not enough. But I looked on Screw, screw Fix the other night and I saw a 400 mil, uh, sorry, 400 watt, 200 mil, bench grinder for 39 quid it's just i can't believe you can make it for that sort of money it's so cheap i know it's probably cheap made in china but i just want to use it for cleaning up wire wheeling parts and then sharpening the odd sort of um punch or chisel or something like that so generally if you want a 200 mil grinder with more than a sort of 350 watt motor you'll pay twice the price of that 90 quid upwards generally for a decent quality one, decent brand, probably 125, 150 quid. So I've got this from Screwfix. Uh, I'm completely unknown really. I did look at the reviews on it. Reviews are fantastic, people saying really, really good value. So let's see ourselves. So 39 quid from Screwfix. Like I say, I'm sure there's better quality ones out there, but for what I want to use it for, I don't really want to spend 125, 150 quid. So we'll just have a look, see what we get. Packaging's a bit naff as you could imagine, but it's adequate, it does the job. Horrible polystyrene. Um, now it does come with two grinder heads, grinding wheels, and a eight inch wire wheel, 200 mil wire wheel as well. So that's, that's what I wanted it for, to do all the cleaning, to be honest. It's a big bit of kit. <laughs> it's got some gravity to it, as I would say. Well, first impressions, it is pretty heavy, which, I don't know, what's that tell you? I don't know whether that's good or not. <laughs> uh, it's quite heavy, it's made from cast aluminium, I think it said. Uh, I'm quite pleased because they are big wheels, so as I say, the smaller sort of 150 mil ones are just not big enough for what I want to do. Um, LED light on it, I think, bear with me, let me read the instructions, fit some guards on there and uh, we'll just connect it up, power it on and uh, see if it does what it's meant to do.
So there we go, it's all assembled, ready to go. Um, I will bolt this down to the bench. I'm just gonna test it now, I'm sure I'll get criticized for not bolting it down to the bench. It is quite weight, uh, weighty. It's not gonna go anywhere in a hurry. Um, but I just wanna test it. So I've fitted the wire wheel on this side now. It actually has a, a medium, sorry, a, a coarse grinding disc this side and a fine one on this side. So I fitted the wire wheel on this side and I swapped over the fine one, so it replacing the coarse one because I'm probably not gonna need the coarse one as much. Um, so <clears throat> I have just nipped up the nuts on the end so you, you check they're centered okay. Um, you nip them up, they're left and right handed threads so the, the bolt isn't gonna come loose on them and you don't wanna over tighten actually because you can damage the disc. So you just nip them up uh, you turn it on, you run it for a minute and then just check for cracks on any of the discs. Make sure it's all running true. If it's not running true, to be honest, when you start it up, it'll be all over the place. Um, but again, importantly, although it's got the guards and um, yeah, the, the guards on here for stopping things getting in your eyes and the guards on the bottom, uh, never run it without them, but don't just assume that these are gonna protect you. So you still need to wear gloves, goggles, etc. Um, and you should have no loose fitting clothes as well. I think this jacket's probably, let me just do the sleeves up a bit. You don't want anything getting caught on the wheels really. Could be a bit painful if it does. And um, so the reason, the reason I've got it just for cleaning up small bits, like I've got this bolt here, nut and bolt that I want cleaning up because they look rusty and horrible. So we'll clean them up, probably paint them or we'll leave them bare, not quite sure. So goggles on. It has a slow start up on it, which is quite nice. Um, it gets up to speed slowly, so there's no surprises. Uh, it has a nice little LED light on it as well, which you can just aim at the piece of work you're working on. There you go. Makes uh, light work of cleaning up nuts and bolts and things like that into small brackets. Obviously the bigger stuff you will probably need wire wheel on the drill because you need to be able to get into somewhere. But no, I'm dead chuffed with that. 39 quid. Works a treat. I think I'll put it on the bench over there. Plumb the electrics in so it's just not loose and then bolted down. Yeah. Pretty good.